you may have heard that hill starts can be tricky. They can be in a manual car as it requires good coordination and a lot of practice. However, hill starts are far easier in an automatic car as it's almost impossible to stall the engine or roll backwards. In this video, we will show how to do a hill start in an automatic car so you can feel confident next time you're pulling away uphill at a busy junction. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss our next video. And if you have any questions about this video, then comment below. Most automatic cars have a creep function built in once drive is selected. However, some cars do not. To test our car, we press the brake pedal, select drive, and then release the brake. If your car has creep like ours, it will gently start rolling forward on its own. We don't even need to press the accelerator. It's really handy when manoeuvring in traffic jams and also to prevent the car from rolling back when pulling away on a hill. Don't worry if your car doesn't creep forward on its own like this, as we will show what to do later on in the video. We've parked our car on a hill and need to pull away. After turning the car on, we press the brake pedal, select drive, and then release the parking brake. After a quick blind spot check, we release the brake pedal gently and feel the creep engage to stop the car rolling back. Now that the car's creep is holding the car on the hill, we press the accelerator and drive away. The car is impossible to stall and does all the work for us. It's pretty much foolproof so much easier than balancing the clutch and gas pedals in a manual car. Let's watch that again in slow motion. We press the brake, select drive, release the parking brake, and after we check it's safe, drive away. No problem. One extra tip. If you have a car that has an electric parking brake like this car, you might find that you don't need to release the parking brake yourself. As soon as we press the accelerator, the parking brake releases automatically and allows the car to move away smoothly. Next, let's practice stopping for a moment on a hill, like we often need to at a traffic light or give way line. We stop the car and keep the brake pedal pushed down to keep the car stationary. There is no need to apply the parking brake whilst waiting to go. Just keep the car in drive and our foot on the brake. When we want to go, we lift our foot from the brake pedal and accelerate away. The car moves away smoothly without any drama. When pulling away on a very steep hill or in a car that has no creep function, we will need to adjust our technique slightly. Sometimes the hill can be so steep that the car's creep isn't strong enough to prevent the car from rolling backwards. There are two options to get around this problem. One method is to move our foot quickly from the brake to the accelerator so that the engine power provides forward drive before the car has time to roll back. However, if your car has a small engine, it might roll back before the engine responds, so there is another option. We can use our left foot to press and hold the brakes on, whilst pressing the accelerator with our right foot. Once we feel the drive from the engine, we release the brakes and allow the car to move forward and continue up the hill. If you prefer, you could use the parking or handbrake to hold the car stationary instead of your left foot on the brake pedal. Either method would work okay. Downhill starts are generally easier in any type of car, 
but we must be aware that the car will move off much more quickly when we release the brake pedal. The combination of the downhill gradient and the car's creep function will allow the car to move before we even press the accelerator. When we do accelerate, the car will gain speed faster than usual, so we must be very careful when following other traffic down a hill. We hope this short video has shown you how to do hill starts in an automatic car. Just remember to press and hold the brake pedal, select drive, press the accelerator to drive away and watch out for very steep hills. If you found this video interesting then please visit our channel as there are over 100 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.